Welcome back, you guys, your boy CK. Now, it's come to my attention that over 70% of you guys watching these videos are not subscribed. So please do me a favor, scroll down, hit that subscribe button. It takes two seconds and it's free. And if you don't like the videos, you can always unsubscribe later. Shout out to Billy Waxton for this idea. He says I should try to win the MVP with the former Heisman Trophy winners. Now the oldest Madden I own is Madden 25. And by that time, a lot of guys like Eddie George, Ricky Williams, you know, guys that won the Heisman but had already retired, we're not gonna be doing them. But there are a lot of other guys that we are gonna be using to try to win MVP. Now I looked through a lot of these Heisman Trophy winners and I saw which Maddens they were the highest rated they've ever been at launch. And only about four of them were the highest rated at launch in Madden 21. There's about 12 other guys that were gonna do in another video if this video gets enough likes so it's up to you guys destroy the like button and subscribe let's lower that number from like 70 to like 50. so first up derrick henry he won the heisman back in 2015 from the university of alabama man he set the sec single season rusher record with 1986 yards and tied the conference mark for rushing touchdowns with 23 on his way to Alabama's second Heisman Trophy award. And I'd say he's having a pretty good season in real life, man. As a matter of fact, Madden 21 was his highest launch rating. Now he's up to a 95. I personally think he should be up to like a 97, 98. I feel like if he was on, you know, a bigger market team, then he would definitely get the love that he deserves. But you know, he still has really good stats. Gonna turn injuries off and we're gonna be on all Madden and simulation. Now for the scheme fit, I like 69. <laughs> Vertical power run. You know, I want to get Henry as many touches as possible. He's a power back. So I think that's going to be perfect. We got a game versus the Bears and Khalil Mack. So far, we're doing really well. Six and one on a season. Only one touchdown on the ground for uh, Mr. Henry. That, that, that has to change. We're going crazy. We're giving Henry 500 yards, five rushing touchdowns. That's the goal. Then again, it is all Madden. Hey, I want, I want the hardest challenge possible. I want the hardest challenge possible. Let's go, Henry. Go crazy. Let's go, Henry. Lower that shoulder. Yes, sir. Come on, man. I got to back up in the game. What I'm really worried about is just the touchdowns. So we get down the field. Then we'll worry about Henry getting all his touches. We're inside the 10, thanks to John New. Second goal, he's getting the ball for the rest of the drive. And it should be an easy touchdown. It's freaking Henry, man. Come on, that's what he does. I just know if he was like a, a, a Cleveland Brown, a Dallas Cowboy. I don't know. I feel like his overall be higher. That's just my opinion, though. Henry getting another solid gain. Would you look at that? This man is in the zone. He has fright train. Increased chance to break the next tackle attempt. Let's go to the screen. Come on, baby. Yes. Get off me. You're too slow. You can't stop him, Bilal Nichols. Bow. Now, I'm not going to show the entire game. I'll probably show it until halftime, but just know I'm going to be trying to get this man's stats. Oh, we lost the freaking X Factor. There it is. We got another touchdown on the ground. <laughs> Wait till you see the f Get off him! Jesus. What are y'all doing, man? He has arm bar. Please, don't try him like that. You should already know by now. I wouldn't lie to you, bro. I don't do that around here. Bam! All Madden simulation. Stop playing with him. It's just, he's just that good. You know, MVPs usually have that one game that you're just like, wow. Yeah, I, I can see why he's MVP. This is going to be that game for Derrick Henry. Now that he's in the zone again, we, we got to get over 200. He's had multiple games in real life this year when he had more than 200 yards. Let's see if we can get him one more rushing touchdown. That would be absolutely amazing. 64, please. No, we were one yard away. The Titans have been there before. So we did what we could, man. 43 carries, 288 yards, four touchdowns on the ground for Henry. We also had two through the air on six receptions for 141 yards. So that's six touchdowns total. I tried my best. Let's see if it helped him win MVP. Wow, so he got his team to a 12 and four record, but it's all about the stats, man. Let's see what he's able to do. Tannehill had a good season. Henry had 1,381 rushing yards, 16 rush touchdowns. I don't know if the yards are enough. That's a lot of yards, but I've seen more. I have seen more, man. He had three receiving touchdowns. So that's what, 19 total. It wasn't enough. Rodgers wins MVP. Tanny got number three, and Henry didn't make the top 10. It's really tough for running backs to win MVP, but we did all we could. In terms of OPOY, he ended up number eight, so that's not bad. If we can get a running back to win OPOY, I think that's right on par with MVP. M maybe not, okay, but at least we got him the best running back in the AFC. Next up, we have Lamar Jackson, who won the Heisman in 2016 for Louisville. He was the youngest player to win the award in just 19 years and 337 days. It was one of the most statistically impressive seasons in Heisman history. He had almost 5,000 yards of total offense, 51 touchdowns total, and his 1,538 rushing yards were the most ever 
by a Heisman winning quarterback. And I'm sure you already know by now, he won MVP in real life. So he's already done this. He's one of the few people that have won a Heisman and MVP. And although he's a 90 overall, he did start the season at a 94. So we're gonna put him back at a 94. That was his highest launch rating. And that's what we're going off of. All right, well, this is the scheme that he won the MVP with. So I, I feel weird if I change it, even though it's only 68%. You already know what we doing. You already know what we doing. Just need some nice blocks down the field. Lamar taking off, he has so much speed. I might just run with him like every play. That was a great start. Cannot lie, man. First drive, one play rushing touchdown. And now we're gonna get a nice pass to Tomlinson taking us across midfield. Yeah, they learned a lesson. They put a spy up. That's still not stopping him though. Oh, Andrews, what a catch. That guy is extremely underrated. We don't need Trez to score. I don't care. You think I care? I don't care. We don't need Trez. Y'all gonna have to put respect on Mark Andrews' name. You are gonna have to put respect on his name. Yes, sir, he's known for touchdowns as well. It's gonna be a historic game for Lamar. Okay, never mind. I jinxed him. I jinxed him. It's all good. Only one interception. Andrews cheat code. Andrews is a cheat code, man. All of these yards, you know, tight ends can't win MVP. It doesn't happen. So I'm not worried about him taking MVP for Lamar. Quality game for Lamar, man. Five touchdowns, only one interception. Also two rushing touchdowns, so seven in total. I'd say it was a pretty good game. Lamar took his team to a 10 and six record. He was first in not only passing yards, but passing touchdowns and fourth in pass rating. 5,000 yards. I don't think I've seen any quarterback throw for 5,000 in a while. It's been a long time, and you add on, what, four rushing touchdowns, and the fact that his team was first in offensive yards. I don't think there's any question that he won the MVP. We made it happen, baby. Let's go. And he got himself in the record books with this amazing season, man. He's in the top 10, I think, right behind Jameis Winston for most passing yards in a season. All right, so we did it with Lamar. He's up to a 99. He has three upgrades available, man. He just killed it. Now let's move on to the next person. Kyler Murray won the Heisman Trophy in 2018 for the University of Oklahoma. He threw for 4,000 yards with 40 touchdowns and only seven interceptions. He had almost 5,000 yards total and 51 touchdowns while leading the Sooners to the college football playoff. And Madden 21 was his highest launch rating. Right now he's an 82. We're gonna keep him there because he earned it, man. He should have already been in the 80s to start the season. He doesn't have an X factor, unfortunately, but he does have a couple of abilities, man. Escape artist and quick draw. We're gonna be using those to the best of our abilities. No pun intended. Am I the only one that thinks Kyler might win MVP in the future? Okay, now if he now he's gonna tackle like this. I'm telling you, man, these animations, I don't want to complain about them too much, but y'all know if you play next gen, they're kind of terrible. They are just a little bit terrible, man. Okay. We are struggling so far. Let me just go to our best player, okay? That, that, that might be what helps us get in rhythm. On the third down, and 11, we're gonna step up in the pocket. They're like triple teaming him. Uh-oh, one-on-one coverage. Actually, R1, wide open. Yes, sir, Max Williams. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to run the ball too. We are going to have to run the ball too. Kyler getting us a nice game. No! Oh, thank God it went out of bounds. No spy again, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna pass it. I'm gonna pass Edmonds out the backfield. Can't believe they just left him open after what he did in the play before. You know we taking off. You know we taking off. Don't fumble this time, Kyler. Williams getting us the lead again. Let's go. I'm telling you, I think rushing touchdowns weigh heavy for quarterbacks. So I'm going to try to go to QB draw. And there it is. We end up getting three touchdowns with Kyler. No interceptions. Also one rushing touchdown. We had two fumbles, which was kind of tough. But it is what it is, man. I think it was still a pretty good game. Question is, will it help him win MVP? End up going 6-10. and ten. Not the best record, but I've seen quarterbacks win MVP with that. Kind of middle of the road in terms of all of his stats. 4,000 pass yards, 32 touchdowns, only five interceptions. Two rushing touchdowns. I thought for sure he would have more than that. That's, that's kind of disappointing. His offense was 24th. It's not looking good. He ends up top five. In terms of MVP voting, that's not terrible, even though he didn't win. That's pretty successful, man. I'll take it. He was second in OPOY. Best QB, he ended up fourth. So not a bad season, not a bad attempt. We have one left in this video. Joe Burrow won the Heisman just last year for LSU. He threw 4,700 yards, 48 touchdowns to win LSU's first Heisman since 1959. And obviously, you know, this is his only year in Madden, so it's his highest launch rating. I've seen him win MVP out of the scheme. I've done a lot of simulations this year, so I'm just gonna rock with this one because I know he can thrive in it. He can scramble too, don't get it twisted, man. He has Gutsy Scrambler and Lofting Deadeyes, his two abilities. Oh yeah, that's a great route right there. That's a great route by AJ Green, gonna get us the touchdown. I guess he missed the extra point. Very unfortunate, man. Joe Mixon though. 
starting us off on the right foot on this drive. So far, this man has zero incompletions. Make it zero and two touchdowns, man. We got the lead again. I don't like how they press my man's AJ Green. I don't like how they press my man's AJ Green wide open. He's going to take it to the crib. We're going to AJ Green again. So far, I don't think we have an incompletion with Burrow. No, our first incompletion. You hate to see it. As usual, I like getting a rushing touchdown, at least one with my quarterback. So let's see what we can do. Kiwi draw 72 with a nice block. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I don't know what it is, but when you truck, it just like warps you past the defense. We're killing it so far, Burrow. Both quarterbacks put up crazy numbers, but Burrow's damn near flawless, man. Six touchdowns, no interceptions, and one rushing touchdown. So another game where we get a quarterback seven plus touchdowns. Hopefully it's enough. He ends up taking the Bengals to a six and 10 record. Middle of the road, once again, for all the passing stats. So I don't know if it's going to be enough, man. Still great ratio, only 12 interceptions to 33 touchdowns through the air he had four on the ground that's not bad at all not bad at all he has his offense at 11th in the nfl it could be but it wasn't cam newton wins mvp burrow ends up number nine he gets in the top 10 that's not a bad season it's not easy to win mvp man it really just isn't but we're gonna come back with another video if this video gets enough likes once again i got a crazy number in my head so it's just a matter of whether you guys reach it or not we're gonna do guys like ingram cam who we just saw win mvp RG3, Johnny Football, I mean, the list goes on and on. We're gonna go back to the other Maddens, but it's all up to you. Make sure you also follow me on Twitter and follow the Facebook. Go ahead, turn notifications on. I might drop a video next time I stream, but yeah, thank you so much for watching to the end. Hopefully you have a good rest of your day and I'll see you on the next one.